So this would be the English version of this video. Um, you have to know that I'm German, so I hope uh, you get along with my accent. You can easily customize your home button with functions such as spotlight search or your camera. Just go to settings, look for general, choose home, and then basically just select the option that you want. Another new feature that comes in handy is call history. When you go to your recent phone calls, notice that there is a blue arrow next to the call. Tap on it and you'll find the time of the call as well as the duration. The iPhone now can automatically fill out registration forms for you. It also memorizes usernames and passwords for sites that you've already visited. Due to privacy reasons, this function must be activated first. So, go to Settings, look for Safari, and then go to Autofill. The next time you fill out a form with Safari, a new button Autofill appears. Click it, and there you go. You can search for specific words or names within your emails. Just go to your emails, choose one of your folders, scroll up to the very top. Now enter the word voila. When a text message didn't go through to the recipient, you were forced to retype your message. Now you can easily resend it. Just click on that red exclamation point and then send it again. You can easily share your contacts now. Just choose a name in your address book. Scroll all the way down. Press share. Now send your contact as a v-card to another person by either message or email. now send more than just one picture at the time as an attachment to your email. Just go to your picture gallery, mark up to five pictures by simply tapping on them. Next, press share at the bottom of the window. And now you are ready to send the chosen pictures all together with one single email. The new OS 3.0 also enhanced the YouTube features. You can now sign in, rate videos or leave a comment. Just in case you want to try it, go ahead, drop me some stars or a comment. Thanks for watching.